Well, joining us now from London is Toon Kin, president of the Burmese Rohingya Organization UK. Sir, thank you so much for joining us here on Al Jazeera. Thank Let you. me just read to you a statement that we've had from authorities in Rakhine State. Now, they say the population growth of Rohingya Muslims is 10 times higher than that of Rakhine Buddhists. Overpopulation is one of the causes of tension. And the reason they're giving for uh, issuing uh, this order to not have more than two children is that. They're doing it to ease tensions between the two groups. What do you make of that? Well, this is, in my opinion, this is baseless accusation. This is a kind of uh, human rights violation and ethnic cleansing to introduce the Rohingya people of Arkan. This has been practiced in actually a long time. Currently, the Burmese government, President thinks the government become more confident to practice this uh, crime against humanity, against Rohingya people, limiting to get only two children. So. Uh, the Rohingya population, they, uh, the Rakhine, they might uh, seem much bigger because you have to look at where Rohingyas are living in Arakana State. They are living like in a concentration camp. They can't move from one place to another. So if they can move, they, will, they can see uh, how much population, where they are going on. So, but the, the, uh, the people are a pack, uh, you know, impact in one place, concentrated like a, a, as a concentration camps. This is the only point I should uh, I want to highlight here. From what I've read, it seems that uh, Rakhine State is being quite vague about actually how they'd go about implementing this, how they'd go around checking who's having how many kids and I guess what they would do if someone has more. Do you, have you heard anything more about that? Well, this is particularly planning to the Rohingya ethnic people to drive out from Arkana State. This is the only policy they implement in Arkana State. Uh, we are quite shocked that Commission report have already highlighted also this because they, as I mentioned earlier, the government, Burmese president thinks the government have become more confident as uh, they can go forward to uh, get rid of Rohingya people, the whole minority from Arkana State, their policy, they are going on forward on it. As we mentioned in the introduction, this policy makes Myanmar the only state that would actually impose a child limit on a religious group. The other example would be China, but they obviously do it um, across the board. What would a group like your own, who represents the Rohingya um, uh, in the UK and around the world, what would you do right now to try to highlight this issue to the international community? Well, this is very important now. We are calling for a long time, actually. Currently, also, we're working on that, too. Uh, crime against humanity is going on in our, against the Rohingya people in Arkan. Human Rights Watch have mentioned, uh, did a well-documented report on 22nd of April, too. And currently, Rohingyas are facing blocking of humanitarian aid and two-child policy limiting and, and 1982 citizenship law. Uh, you know, implementing these things need to be highlighted by international community. So we're calling for international community to uh, immediately take action on uh, Burmese government, you know, to stop uh, this kind of human rights violation and ethnic uh, cleansing against Rohingya. Particularly, we call into international community uh, independent investigation need to uh, 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 need to get uh, to go for Obama and to find out what is happening in Arkana State. So unfortunately, we are not getting on it. Uh, EU, US, they are lifting up sanctions is giving more encouraging, uh, more encouraged to President Thingsy government to uh, practice ethnic cleansing against Rohingyas. This is very a big tragedy for us. The other way, you know, the government is uh, going on move forward to. Uh, you, you know, stopping humanitarian aid some areas. Many Rohingya women are today facing to deliver even their babies. Many Rohingya children are dying. Many people are facing extortion uh, by C Nasaka security forces are uh, taking, uh, you know, uh, extorting Rohingyas uh, their daily life in Arkana State. Tun, so Tun Kin, international community have to call for uh, independent investigation to find out the truth, what is happening against Rohingya. Kin, President uh, thinks apologies, the government sir, is violating going, international law. We're going to have to leave it there. President of the Burmese Rohingya Organization in the UK, thank you.